Hey friends, Ash here with Jensen. Hope you're doing well. Today, we're gonna talk about some high-end fragrances, fragrances that are a little more expensive, some nice niche fragrances that are also versatile. Got a nice little mix of scents here. Some of these are better for fall and winter, some are better for spring and summer. So let's jump into it, let's check these out. Let's see. Let's kick it off with this one. Biggerod Concentrate from Frederick Mall. This one has bitter orange, rose, hay, and cedar as some of the notes in the fragrance. It's done by Jean-Claude Elena, as you can see right here up at the top. And this stuff smells great. It smells so good in the opening. It's just absolutely fantastic. The citrus, it's a little bit tart, but it's fresh. It's slightly juicy. It's a little sweet. Ah, it smells great. The quality is nice which you would expect if you're paying the price that these run. So yeah. Now, even though this smells fantastic, and it does, it's not really super unique. And I don't mean that negatively. It actually smells like you took maybe three or four different fragrances, extracted bits from each, and then bottled it in a nice high quality fashion right in here. It smells a little bit like uh, Terre d'Hermes Autre Fraiche and Declaration by Cartier and um, Eau d'Ange Vert by Hermes and uh, a little bit of Eau de Pamplemousse Rose also from Hermes. Maybe not a huge surprise that it does have some similarities with those Hermes fragrances because uh, some of those were done, of course, by Jean-Claude Elena himself, who did this one. It opens up with that fantastic citrus that I mentioned before. As it dries down, you do pick up a slight amount of that rose, but not too much, and settles into a clean, warm, woodsy base. One of the big drawbacks about this fragrance is going to be the performance, which, uh, how do we, how do we say the performance? Oh, it sucks. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Now, the longevity isn't the worst, but the projection is soft. This fragrance is intimate. It lies close to your skin, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, even though I did just say the fragrance's performance sucks, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. You can spray this on really heavily if you want. It's going to offend absolutely no one. If you spray it on your clothes, maybe in your hair, or just like an absolute freak and hit yourself with 50 sprays of a Frederick Ball, you're gonna get some uh, improved performance. Frankly though, it doesn't matter that it sits a little bit close to your skin or a lot bit close to your skin because it just smells so friggin' good. So Big Rod Concentrate. Versatile? Yeah, absolutely. And you know, you can always say that because the performance is not that monstrous, it actually improves the versatility because it's almost impossible to spray so much of that that people don't like it. Is that me just kind of fishing a little bit? Yes, it is. Next up, let's go with this little glass hockey puck of doom, Morning Chess from Wilhelm Perfumery. Bergamot, galbanum, leather, and patchouli are some of the notes in the fragrance. And in case you're unaware of this scent and what it smells similar to, you can really tell by that note breakdown that it smells similar to Creed Aventus. Wait, actually, no, no, those note breakdowns aren't similar at all. But yeah, it's, it's kind of like Creed Aventus. Realistically, when you're talking high-end niche fragrances that are versatile, I can't even tell you how many different Aventus style fragrances there are that you could choose from. Almost every house, it seems like, has their little tweak, their tweaked version, rather, of Creed Aventus. I mean, that's an exaggeration, obviously. Not all of them do, but a lot of them do. The opening here is fantastic. The bergamot is gonna give you that familiar Aventus style open, and as it dries down, the leather really comes out and shines. This one is super versatile, as you would expect. Basically, you can use it year round, daytime or nighttime, and the performance is good as well. So Morning Chess, absolutely worth checking out. It's one of the better Creed Aventus style fragrances on the market. And I'm gonna link all these below. That one, I'm gonna link at Twisted Lily. Use the code GENTS10, get yourself 10% off the entire website, not just that fragrance. Next up, let's go with this one, House of Siage, the Contemporary from the Gentleman's Collection. Yeah, you've gotta be a gentleman or else you cannot own this. Sorry. Cardamom, Plum, Cedar, and Amber are some of the notes in this fragrance, along with additional fruity notes. And it is kind of a designery fragrance, even though it is a niche house and it comes in this fancy bottle with a little button 
that that makes the thing slide and you slide it back and you press the button again and you slide it back and press the button and you slide it back even though it's got that uh yeah it, it's got a designer kind of scent profile to it is this gimmicky or cool i'm not sure i think it's kind of cool and gimmicky at the same time so this one's got a good amount of freshness to it it does have a slight blue fragrance scent profile to it as well and it's actually usable year round once again even though it does have that freshness to it and that blue kind of backbone it works in fall and winter very well and that's going to be from the amber the warm spices in here and the woods so even though it opens up very fresh as it dries down it does have a nice depth to it, a nice richness to it. Big potential compliment puller, enormously versatile. It's the type of fragrance that's almost impossible to dislike or be offended by. Ooh, it's really nice. So there we go, the contemporary. If you're looking for a fragrance that's versatile and pull you compliments and has pretty good performance as well, check that one out. But don't be disappointed if you get it in and it's got that, that kind of a designerish feel to it. I warned you. Now let's go for something completely different. This time, Electimus Jupiter. That's a big bottle. Hefty, hefty boy, thick, yeah, ooh. Now this one is very different than the last three fragrances because the last three fragrances, even if they're really good for fall and winter, have a fresh sort of uh, scent profile when you first spray it on. You know, they, they take you by the hand and lead you into the mid and into the dry down and it's easy peasy. There's no part of the fragrance where you smell it and you're like, ooh, I don't know about that. This one switches that up a little bit. It's got vetiver, ambergris and incense, but also oud and saffron. And those two notes are gonna be some of the main things that you pick up as this dries down. Now I know that oud and versatile don't really go hand in hand a lot of times. Most people, or not most, but some people, when they hear oud, they will automatically think, hell no. They'll think to themselves, um, uh, from oud, you know, from that from that word, what I've heard is poop, a little bit, a little bit of fecal smell. Now it's not that this one is completely devoid of facets that that might freak someone out that might freak out the layman you know that they might smell it and go oh, 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 no thank you it's a little medicinal when you spray it on but frankly it's it's not that bad it really isn't it's nicely contrasted and nicely balanced the whole way through it's got this faint sweetness that kind of sits over top everything else and and helps soften that oud when it touches your nose very rich it's got a heft to it it's got a punch to it it lasts a long time it projects heavily so you probably don't want to spray too much of it on unless it's winter during a blizzard otherwise temper your sprays a little bit make sure that you're familiar with the fragrance and how it works off your skin think of the children okay think of the children so yeah even though it has oud it has saffron it has incense it has all these notes that you would think man this is going to be too much too much of a punch actually done in a very wearable way it smells great and it grows on you over time which is uh, another big positive you don't want to wear the fragrance a couple times and get sick of it and then just you know kick it to the curb it's really well done and the presentation is sick as well electimus jupiter switch things up a little bit wear some versatile oud now i'm gonna bring this one up really 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 quickly but i'm not officially including it in the five i guess it's this one also oud, Sweetie Oud or Sweetie Oud from Raja Parfum. I just recently got this one in. Raja Parfum sent it to me with a package with some other fragrances. Some of them I liked a lot. Some of them I didn't really care for. This one is one of the ones that I like a lot. It's got sort of a gourmand touch, like the name says, Sweetie Oud. There's some sweetness to it. Now you would look at this and you might think, yeah, it's probably a very feminine oud fragrance. First off, because the name is Sweetie Aoud. And I can't imagine too many hyper masculine dudes walking into a store like, yeah, I'll take the Sweetie Aoud, please. Uh, I don't know, but it, it seems feminine to me, the name. And it's got this very beautiful blue cap and this nice cursive writing on the front but it's unisex. A guy can pull this off just as well as a woman and absolutely love it. Now, between the two fragrances, I would say Jupiter is absolutely the more masculine of the two fragrances, the more 
traditionally masculine smelling, but this is a fantastic oud fragrance that you can pull off, um, we'll say early spring, late fall, and winter. And then shameless plug alert, ooh, 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 by the Yuzu Grove, Galleria Parfum. Yeah, this is a, a great fragrance that you can use in spring and summer, early fall as well, fantastic performance. A very realistic smelling citrus opening that lingers lasts for a long time. If you've lasted this long, thank you. I appreciate that. Final fragrance, If by RK by Frappant. This one is really a little bit overlooked. One of the better releases from the house of Frappant. And this one can go head to head with some of their earlier releases that, that caught a lot of hype years ago. It's that good. It's got ginger, fig, cashmere, and guyac wood, along with a solid dose of sandalwood. It's creamy, it's very slightly sweet, it's warm, it's spicy. When you first spray it on, it's got a, just a tinge, a tinge of freshness. Fantastic. And this house actually makes fragrances, at least as far as niche fragrances go, that aren't too expensive. They're not otherworldly expensive. The amount of fig in here is just right. It doesn't overwhelm the woodiness in the fragrance, it complements it. And it really helps the sandalwood with that added touch of creaminess as the fragrance dries down. So if by RK, absolutely a killer scent. Really nearly a year round fragrance, like I've said a million times, just dial the sprays up or down, depending on where you're going, you're gonna be around in the temperature. So there we go, five, uh, technically kind of seven versatile high-end fragrances. These all smell fantastic in my opinion. And they do it in a lot of different ways. So kind of an interesting smorgasbord of things. All right guys, that's gonna do it for me. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there. See you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys there.